anyone who's lived in New York will tell you, you don't always know how you're going to get there or how long it's going to take. But all that matters is you get there. The sky's blue right now for the Mets, who are 15-4 and four in their last 19, and they are almost there trying to get to the postseason against a Phillies team that hopes to clinch a playoff berth tonight. Mets. Double figure runs the last two days, but it's really been the pitching that's gotten them nearly to the finish line here. It's been an incredible year for the New York Mets, thinking about how they started the first eight weeks of the season. It didn't look very good, but the second half's looked great because the pitching has been outstanding. Since August 1st, that's the reason they're in the playoff mix. And if they continue this trend, they're a dangerous team. And on the mound tonight, big right-hander Luis Severino makes his 30th start of the season. Phillies at 91 and 61 would be able to clinch a postseason berth with a victory and Kyle Schwarber being serenaded by the locals already. Swing and a missed strike three got him with a sweeper and so Severino strikes out Schwarber to get us started as that slider keeps getting better and better for Severino through this first inning. Well he he doesn't have to throw it for strikes many times because he has such weapons just off the plate another fastball that misses outside and high and Harper draws a walk it is ball four to Harper and that brings up the cleanup hitter Alec Bohm 2-2 two -two here high heat Severino blitzes the Phillies in the first inning two away so here is Mark Vientos who it feels like every year in some way is blocked and the last couple years in some way he's found his way up to the majors and this has been a total breakout season for him. It sure has and coming at the perfect time. That ball is crushed down the left field side and that is out of here. It rang back in just a clothesline for Vientos is 25th. 21st home run given up by Taiwan Walker. He's not yet to 80 innings pitched. Here's Alonzo. That ball is hit well. Deep right field, and they've gone back to back. Watching Pete Alonzo this year, after everything this team went through last season, that reaction is as much about how bad it has been before as how good it is now I would say yeah absolutely and obviously there's a contract out there for him you probably would love to stay here and if he keeps playing like this and they go deep into the postseason I think it makes his case two down quickly and after a long first inning in terms of pitches thrown at a quick second now shaping up to be a similar third there's Schwarber who struck out his first time up and Severino deals swinging a ground ball up the middle there's a base hit hard single right back through the box for Schwarber Two out single that'll bring up Trey Turner. Turner is one power source that has gone completely dry and the Phillies need him to get that turned around. He has five homers in his last 53 games now. Swung on, hit in the air, deep left field, yeah. and that one is gonna go. And that has tied the game. And Trey Turner's power on display there as he reaches the second deck in left field. Turner's 19th of the season and it's 2-2. As Iglesias walks up to his own song OMG which is the reaction the crowd had to Turner's swing in the top of the third. Base hit to left. Iglesias has a leadoff single. Well, here's Brandon Nimmo. Tie game bottom three. Oh boy. That ball's crushed. Nimmo right center field. It is out of here. Past the reach of Stevenson. Thursday night thunder for the Mets and the Mets are feeling themselves some kind of strong because they are extra base hitting at a high level this week second walk issued by Severino and this extends the inning now first and second two outs to Brandon Marsh two one that's laced to left field and down Brandon Marsh comes through for the Phillies and drives home run number three. That's a big two out hit and with two outs you're basically breaking the back of the other team especially when their pitcher has been in control in Severino and this is twice now with two outs. So now Stevenson lifted to left Nimmo on the run still coming he got there. And he keeps the lead for the Mets by one. It's been pretty active first couple innings here between the Mets and the Phillies. The Mets have a 4-3 lead. Taiwan Walker is out there for the fourth. And again, for Taiwan Walker and the Phillies, they're going to push him as far as they can. Two on, nobody out. And we'll see how much longer Taiwan Walker is for this game. Oh. That ball is detonated. Three run home run. 
Alvarez now into double figures, flexing that right bicep as he rounds third. 10 home runs, and this one a biggie, 421 feet and a four-run Mets lead. Well, Taiwan Walker, basically the same fate as uh, every other person that's gone to the mound as the fifth starter for the Phils here in the second half of the season. The runner at first base and one out, and Brandon Nimmo the batter. 3-2, line to right. That's a scorcher into the corner. Brandon Nimmo comes through again. This is an RBI double. It is 8-3. Here's Vientos. First pitch. Hit hard up the middle and through. Base hit going into center. Nimmo rounds third. He scores standing up. Vientos jumps in again. RBI single. It's 9-3 Mets. Back-to-back -back walks after back-to-back -back hits allowed by Ruiz. He still hasn't recorded an out. And here comes Martinez, 10th man to bat in the inning. Swung on, ground ball, deep short. Diving Turner, he's got it from his knees to second one. On to first. Double play. And Trey Turner with his third outstanding defensive play saves more damage here in the fourth as the Mets send 10 men to the plate. Phillies try to get back in this game but with the bases full and nobody out. Kyle Schwarber coming up. Right side, second base, Iglesias long throw. Acuna's turn is late. The Phillies get a run, but the Mets get a much needed first out. It is nine to four. First and third, one out, seventh inning. And Garrett, who's got a splitter that he features, trying to get himself a ground ball in what's turned out to be a pretty big spot here. Swing and a miss, strike three. Breaking ball after breaking ball, two down. First and third for Philadelphia in the seventh inning. A run is in. The Met lead is now nine to four. Up the alley, right center field. It's deep. A long run, Taylor. He won't get it. It's a double for Harper. Two more runs come across, and it's now a nine to six ball game. Here's Acuna, one on, one out. Line over second, a base hit for Acuna. This one rolling all the way to the wall in right center. Alvarez chugging for third. He is getting waved home. And for the first time in franchise history, the Mets have scored 10 runs in three straight games. Oh, the Mets on the verge of ripping another date off of that calendar and saying they're that much closer. Diaz not taking time to save her. He's going to go right back to work. A liner in the air to right towards the line. Taylor, he's there, makes the catch, put it in the box. The Mets are 16 and 4 in their last 20 games and they keep Atlanta from picking up a game. Well, the Mets are playing with a lot of confidence, and why not? Their bats are waking up, and this crowd is really, really into it right now, and they believe in their Mets. Been waiting a while.